Other characters started to gain more screen time in Outlander Season 4. Young Ian was one of those characters and here's a look at my favorite moment from the season. Young Ian was one of many characters who got more screen time in Outlander Season 4. From the very beginning of the season, he showed his interest in the new world. Making it clear he wanted to stay early on, he fought for his own voice and made some major decisions that would affect the rest of his life. It's time to look at his number one moment. I know for many people that the ending of his journey in the season will be the standout moment. It certainly was an excellent one. I loved that we got this full journey for him. It started with him still in his uncle's shadow to becoming a man of worth. However, for me, this isn't his top moment. There's something that happened earlier that helped to lead to this point at the end. My number one young Ian moment is during the third episode when he's talking to Jamie about remaining in the colonies. Jamie is set on sending his nephew back to Scotland. After all, this is what Jenny would want to happen. But it's not up to Jamie and it's certainly not up to Jenny. Young Ian makes his own decision. Respectfully, he makes it clear that he is now a man. He wants to be able to make a life for himself and he chooses to remain in the colonies. Okay, so he's not going to be alone just yet. He remains with Claire and Jamie, while he learns more about the natives and figures out what his own next steps are. There's a bond that forms with Rolo, as he turns from boy to man. And it's in the moment at Aunt Joe Casta's house that we start to see this journey. This was the moment he became a character to watch out for. Up to this point, he'd been helpful or he'd offered some comic relief. We also got to see him work out his thoughts and feelings after everything that happened with Galus, but it was at Aunt Jocasta's where he made it clear that he would eventually break away and become his own man.